You people don't know what you're in for because guys what? I'm going to flood your timeline. I'm just joking, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm so extra. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Idara Unwefa and if this is your first time coming on my channel, you're very welcome and I appreciate you coming on my channel. And for today guys, I've created this Friday night look that you people would absolutely love and it's very easy to create, it's very comfortable, you know, you look stunning, you look sultry and all that, you know, if you, if you recreate this look. And also, um, at the end of this video, kindly please like if you love it and share with your family and friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to click on the notification button down below so you can get a thing when my videos come up thank you so much for watching my video bye so now guys i'm going to use my beauty line by dd brow pencil And I'm just going to use it to outline my brows, the shape of my brows. So yeah. I'm brushing it up with my spoolie and then I'm just going to use the pencil and just outline my brows carefully. And I'm just going to fill in my brows gently you don't want to press too hard on the brush and I'm going to brush that up so it looks very clean and smooth and easy we don't want harsh lines guys this is 2019 so now I'm ju I've just done that to the second brow as you can see and I'm just going to make sure that that looks good yep so now I'm going to take my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium Deep. And I'm going to take my MAC 215 brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade NC42. And I'm going to use that for my brow bone. Yeah, I'm going to use that for my brow bone. And I'm just going to blend that out and brush it out to make sure that that looks good. And I'm going to do that for the other brow. Then I'm going to go in with the shade NC42 and NW40. And I'm going to use that for the outer corner of the bottom of my brows. I'm just going to blend that out to make sure that it looks good. You have to be careful when you're doing this so you don't take out part of your brows. And I'm just going to do that for the other side. So now our brows look good and I'm just going to blend that out. Then for... The top part of my brows, I'm going to go in with another palette, um, which is the Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Dark. And I'm going to go in with the shade NC45 and the shade NC42. And I'm going to use that for the top of my brows. I'm going to go in a very clean line so I don't ruin the shape of my brows. You want to be careful when you're doing that and be as precise as possible and i'm just going to do that for the other brow and i'm going to blend that out i can't emphasize i can't overemphasize how much blending is important guys so 
so now i'm going to go back in with my beauty line by didi brow pencil and i'm just going to fill in my brows in case i missed out when i was concealing it guys we have to tell you brows are not twins they are sisters so your brows don't have to look exactly the same and now i'm going to go in with my pro conceal and correct palette in the shade nc42 and i'm just going to put that all over my lid so this is going to be my base for my eyeshadow i'm going to put that all over the other lid as well and i'm going to take another brush like a blending brush and i'm going to just blend that out guys blending is important so now we're done and i'm just going to take my laura mercier powder in translucent and i'm just going to tap that so you can get on the cover and i'm going to take any blending brush which is a beige cosmetic brush and i'm just going to put that all over my lid and all over my all over my brows and all over my concealer so that that can set i don't want you don't want your um, concealer going over so now I've taken my MAC palette, my, my MAC eyeshadow palette in Warm Neutral and my Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette. So now I'm going to go in my MAC palette and I'm going to use the um, MAC brush in 217. And I'm just going to pick on the shade, going with, go in with the shade Dance in the Dark for my crease. I'm just going to... Put that in a circular motion all over my crease and i'm going to do that for the other brow for the other lead then i'm going to take my blending brush my bh cosmetic blending brush and go into my Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and take the shade Amber. Yeah, I'm going to take the shade Amber. And I'm just going to put that all over my crease as well. I love coral colors, guys. That's why I love this Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. It's so amazing. It's literally my go-to palette. And I'm going to put that all over my crease. So now I'm going to go in with another brush. And I'm going to take the wood. I'm in the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette as well. And I'm putting it in the outer corner of my eye. This gives the eye look more depth as you can see. And I'm just going to do that for the other eye. Be sure to tap in the products, guys. And then now I'm going to go in with um, my MAC eyeshadow palette in the shade Dance in the Dark again. Just to add more depth to my, to my crease. Yeah. So after that, I'm going to take my concealer in the shade NC40 and do a cut crease. Guys. This is really tough. Before I learned this cut crease, it was war. But I learned it for you guys. So I'm just taking the concealer and putting it in my crease, in my lid, to do a cut crease. I'm going to do that for both eyes. And after that, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder to set it. Guys, you have to set everything that comes in liquid or semi-liquid form. So it doesn't slip and slide. Yeah. So after that, I'm going to go in with my MAC. With my Huda Beauty. Um, I'm just spraying my brush now to get more products on. So I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Deadly Dusk Palette in the shade Eden. And I'm just going to put that onto the cut crease I already created to make it more pronounced. Yes, that coral look giving me life.
and i'm just going to blend that in so guys you can see that the cut crease is more prominent and i'm going to go in back into my outer corner the outer corner of my eye and i'm going to take the shade dance no i'm going to take the shade wood and i'm going to put that in the outer corner of my eye just to blend it so now i'm going to go in with my mua liner felt tip liner and i'm just going to line my eyes i'm going to draw a wing line if you want a video on how i draw my wing liner please comment in the comment section below i'm just going to carefully do that you can see how sharp it is i'm doing better guys <laughs> So I'm just making sure that my liner is well done. And then now I'm going to apply my hair bonding glue to my wing lashes. I use hair bonding glue guys. I don't know why. I just do. And I'm going to do that off camera. And yeah, I'm done. Voila. So now guys, I'm going to go in with my Lancome foundation in shade 10 and I'm going to go in with my YSL foundation in shade BD55 and I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown moisturizer all over my face. Just a little. It smells really nice, guys. I'm just going to massage that into my skin. And I'm going to use the NC Lagos Natural Clear Beauty Natural Clear Skin Lagos Rose Water Face Toner, the Garnet Face Toner. Then I'm going to pump my foundation onto my sp my spatula, I guess. Just a little. I always mix my foundation, guys. Yeah, I'm just going to mix that together. <laughs> just imagine you're doing a little biology or chemistry or something. No, chemistry, no biology, guys. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my foundation brush. I'm going to take my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm just going to apply that in my T-zone area. Then I'm going to take my foundation brush and I'm going to just apply my foundation all over my face. Guys, you can see how that is already blending. Just going to apply that all over my skin. I changed my foundation br brush to apply foundation on the top layer of my face because it's a smaller space and I don't want the foundation getting everywhere. I'm just going to use the other foundation brush to just dab the foundation into my skin. So now, guys, I'm going to go in my Nuban Beauty Concealer in shade 43. This, guys, is the best concealer I've ever used. No joke. This is a Nigerian brand, by the way. And I'm just going to put that all over my T-zone, under my eyes, my chin under my nose yeah just get that everywhere and i'm going to use my fix plus spray to spray that i'm going to let it dry just a little and i'm going to take my my blending brush my my blend my sponge my blending sponge <laughs> and i'm just going to start from my chin because that is where i have the least product and i'm going to just walk my way from least products from where i have the least product to where i have the most product because i don't want to pack products on some areas so yeah and i'm going to go underneath my eyes and just dab that in guys this blending sponge is the best just going to let that sink into my skin my nose i'm going to get all those areas the corner of my nose yeah 
So now my skin is blended or the concealer is blended into my skin. Then I'm going to go in my L'Oreal Mercier powder in, in shade translucent. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face where I put the concealer just to let it bake. We're not applying too much, guys. Just a little. <laughs> this is my just a little, guys. <laughs> and so now I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. Contour Kit in medium to tan. And I'm going to go in with the shade... I don't know the shade, guys. But it's the darkest shade. And I'm just going to contour my face. You can already see the contour, guys. Like, this was made in heaven and then i'm going to go in with my brush my fluffy brush and dust off the excess powder from the parts of my face that i concealed yeah guys we can already see the finish and then i'm going to go in with my brush another fluffy brush and i'm going to apply my powders and i'm going to be using the studio fix powder in nc43 and the nars powder in shade medium dark for macau and i'm just going to put that part those powders together and i'm going to just gently apply that to my face and then i'm going to go in with my sleek blush palette I don't know the shade I use, but it should be in the description box, guys. I'm just going to apply that all over my cheek area. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC Fix Plus Spray again, just to let my makeup set. And I'm going to let that dry just for a sec. And then I'm going to go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Deep. And I'm going to go with the shade Bronze. I'm going to start from the upper temple of my cheek. And I'm just going to walk my way down. Guys, I learned this trick by watching Anita Brow's videos on, on Instagram. And I'm just going to put out the bridge of my nose. The tip of my nose as well. And my chin and my forehead. I don't know why I do this, but I do it. Look at that cool, guys. And then now I'm going to go in with my Zaron eyeliner. This is my best gel liner. And I'm going to use that for my lower lash line. Guys, this changes everything. Like this, without this liner, my look is not complete ever. So yeah, <laughs> you can see I'm really feeling myself. And I'm going to go in with my Maybelline mascara, the Col Colossal Volume Express Smoky Eye Mascara. I'm just going to use that on my lower lash line and my upper lash line. this has changed my look completely guys and now i'm going to go in with my lips and i'm going to be using the sephora lip lipstick in shade hot tango i've had this lipstick for a while and this is my very first time using it guys i've been sleeping on this lipstick this red is to die for And if you watch my previous videos out, you, you know that my lips are my, are my favorite part of my body. So this is why. Because I literally don't need a liner. Like my lips are already outlined naturally. And for this, I love them. So yeah, red is popping. And voila, we're done, guys. Hope you enjoyed this look.